Did you know that regular sauna use could reduce your risk of the top causes of mortality like cardiovascular disease by 50% without changing anything else? So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a review of the higher dose infrared sauna blanket. I'm going to go into how to use it, what the benefits are, what my experience has been after five months of using it. I'm even going to share an EMF reading and then a final verdict on whether or not this is the right product for you. Hi, I'm David and I help people reclaim their lives from brain fog, chronic fatigue, and low self-esteem. So today's video is going to be a review of the higher dose infrared sauna blanket. And so, you know, sauna is one of those life hacks that I really think most people should be incorporating in their wellness routine. Um, Ayurveda and other ancient medical traditions have been encouraging and using saunas as a means of detoxification and rebalancing the body and also adjusting to seasonal changes for thousands of years. So before we get into the review, I just want to call out the study in the description below. It was conducted in Finland and published in the, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. So this is recognized by conventional medicine. This is not some naturopathic or woo-woo kind of journal. And what they basically said is that regular sauna use, they tested a lot of different um, cadences, but basically it was usually somewhere between two and four times a week um, for 20 minutes each time, reduced top causes of mortality, including cardiovascular disease, by 50%. I want you to let that sink in for a moment. So imagine if there was a drug, a pharmaceutical drug, that reduced your risk for the top causes of mortality by 50%. Do you think that most people, let's say over the age of 40, might want to take this drug for preventative purposes? And the answer is, of course, yes. I mean, why would you not do this thing? So I just really want to hammer this home in um, because a lot of even functional medicine practitioners are over-relying on supplements. And in old school medical traditions, including Western naturopathy, um, they use things like colonics, sauna, sweating, fasting. And so even though this is sort of a lifestyle hack, I want you to really start considering something like sauna as medicine. All right, so really quickly, what are the benefits of sauna? So one is gonna be improved circulation. So especially during the transition of seasons, this is gonna be really important. Boosting the immune system, boosting circulation. If you're someone with cold hands and feet, this is definitely what you need to be doing. Don't be taking those cold showers. Another one is um, a lot of um, dampness in the body. So if you follow Ayurveda, this would be kapha-based disorders. Cellulite, water retention. Um, this is gonna be very helpful for either of those. Additionally, think about accumulation type disorders, accumulation of toxins, accumulation of toxic emotions. Um, so this is gonna be helpful for that as well. And it's also been shown to decrease pain as well. All right, so who should actually be trying out this infrared sauna? So as you can see, I'm in my New York City apartment. You can see it in the background. And I don't have space for a wooden sauna. So this is going to be a great uh, alternative that you can use in your apartment. You can just spread it out on your living room floor. Some people do it on their bed. Um, so it's going to be a really simple way of having access to a sauna. So as far as the bells and whistles of the higher dose infrared sauna, beyond the obvious stuff, you have an amethyst layer. Uh, inside of it that um, you know increases the benefits of the sauna itself. You have clay and tourmaline that emit negative ions. So think of that sensation of your feet in the sand or of walking in the grass, something you don't get enough of if you live in a city. And so that really helps activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is fantastic. It's made out of non-toxic materials, which is really important. And probably the thing that I don't really see a lot of other people talking about is that it is low EMF. I'm gonna be showing you the EMF reading here. And remember, you're putting this thing on your body. It's quite important that it's not emitting a bunch of electromagnetic radiation because first of all, that's gonna ramp up your nervous system. It's supposed to do the opposite of what this is um, intended to do. And it's generally gonna have other impacts on your health. So I'm really happy to hear that it's not high EMF. All right, just to hammer this point home, this is my Tri-Field EMF reader. I highly recommend that everyone has this because electromagnetic fields are a huge toxin that we're not talking about enough. All right, so for higher dose itself, um, right now we're measuring ELEC, right? So we're closer to the device, and we're gonna, it's probably going to get up to 500, 600, 700, right? And that's right up against it. And as we get further away, even just two feet, 
you can see the difference. There's almost no EMFs, right? So when you put this at uh, three feet away from you, you're not really exposing yourself to a whole lot, which is great. Um, but if you're right up against it or you even put it on top, um, you're really putting yourself not at risk, but it's just uh, not the best practice, right? like how to get in there. So higher dose recommends that you're fully clothed. So long sleeves, sweatpants, and even socks, which seems a little counterintuitive because you're walking into a sauna. Um, but that's what they recommend. And as far as the setup goes, um, you know, I just pull it out from underneath my couch and I have the electrical unit somewhere else. I just go ahead and plug that in. And then I usually set it at about seven. So typically uh, what higher dose recommends is you know, starting out somewhere between a four and a six, depending on your heat tolerance. Um, if you're more experienced with sauna, you could probably do a six. And you let that um, heat up for about 10 minutes. And then you get in there and remember, um, somewhere, I think it's about 50 to 60 minutes, it's gonna automatically turn off. So you don't have to worry about falling asleep in it or anything like that. I recommend starting with somewhere between a 20 to a 30 minute session. The research backs up that this is the right amount of sauna to get the health benefits. So what do you do in there for 20 to 30 minutes? And that's gonna depend on your preferences. My recommendation is that you put on something that's gonna further um, activate the parasympathetic nervous system or kind of calm you down, um, like a sound bath, binaural beats, or a guided meditation with some soothing background music. Um, additionally, you might wanna put an alarm just in case it's on sort of autoplay and that'll really make sure that you don't go overboard with the sauna, because you definitely can. All right, so this is me after 30 minutes in the sauna. You probably can't tell, uh, but I am quite sweaty, especially the last 10 minutes. Uh, the sweat really starts to drip quite a bit. I'm feeling quite relaxed. Um, parasympathetic nervous system is very ac um, definitely active, uh, pretty calm and really ready to wind down, take a shower, cook, face whatever the day um, has for me. As far as cleaning, um, I use this yoga mat cleaner, it's called Mind Over Lather. And basically you just put a few sprays, grab a, you know, a towel of some kind and just you know, wipe it down. Um, higher Dose recommends that you treat it almost like a yoga mat. Don't use any harsh cleaners, detergents, or anything like that. Um, I've had this five months. I've only been using this Mind Over Lather and it doesn't have any odors, doesn't stink. There's not really any stains on it. Um, so it seems to be working pretty well. All right, so there you have it. Um, once you are done cleaning, just let it sit. Just let it cool down for about 10 minutes and then go ahead and fold it back up and put it wherever you choose to store it. So as far as the verdict is concerned, would I recommend this sauna? And the answer after five months of using it is a resounding yes. I really like um, the usability of it, the, um, how easy it is to store, um, how quickly it heats up. I found it to be um, really effective as far as just how I feel. Um, can I verify you know, all the bells and whistles exactly? Of course not. Um, but as far as you know, comparing it to the sauna that I use at my local gym, um, I would say that it achieves a really similar effect and I can do it from the comfort of my own home. This is definitely gonna be a staple of my winter wellness routine, particularly being a Vata Pitta um, body type for more ectomorphic body type. I tend to skew towards having cold hands and feet, especially during the winter, and needing that sort of um, really de-stressing at the end of the day. Um, so this, the way that I use this is I would be using it um, probably prior to doing uh, Abhayanga or a sesame oil massage. Um, as well as some dry brushing and then taking a shower afterwards. So that's where it fits into my routine. Everyone's gonna be a little different. Um, so if uh, you wanna check this out or you wanna learn more about Higher Dose uh, Sauna Blanket, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. And as always, if you got value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates on how to optimize your mind, body, and emotions. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.